Right now, we're looking at ways to stretch your dollar, and today we're focusing on family travel. Fox 25 anchor Mark Ockabloom is here with more ways to save. Mark. Well, by our recent AAA survey reveals more than 35% of you are planning to travel a great distance for a family vacation. Here's a look at five ways you can still get away without breaking your travel budget. Paris, Rome, wine country, Bermuda, Disney. All popular summer dream trips that require months of planning to save some cash. You might think it's too late to get a deal now, but... There's always a bargain out there. We asked George Hobica, founder of AirfareWatchdog.com, to share some of his secrets to last-minute travel on a budget. JetBlue has a very well-hidden one. I know Boston's a big JetBlue market. Google JetBlue Best Fare Finder. And that is the best way to find low fares on, on JetBlue. Using this hard-to-find feature, you can clearly see pinpointed on a calendar the cheapest fares. How about $157, Boston and New York? But right here, 79 and it's scattered about the month as well. George also recommends signing up for airfare alerts on a number of sites. They'll email you when airlines are offering specials or deals. And he has a simple suggestion about how to find hidden deals on hotels. I do recommend that the people look at the uh, hotel's website directly. We found that some hotel websites offer credits for room service, free night stays, deals on room upgrades, and sometimes cheaper room prices. Some websites like Tingo.com will refund you the difference in cost if the rate you pay goes down after you book a hotel room through its website. Tingo has already given almost $1.5 million back to consumers in the form of hotel refunds after the price drops. George also recommends being flexible on the days you choose to fly. He says Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the cheapest days to fly. Traveling on a Friday or a Sunday will cost you more. Well, Lily? Thanks, Ox.